Welcome to one of those black metal reviews. This time we have a very, very interesting, very unique kind of a band called Mulla. This is their second album and I don't dare even try to pronounce what this is. This is Curious Bands for various reasons. First of all, it doesn't really look like your typical black metal release and on the visual side, on the language side, it's definitely not your typical band. Oops, already got the CD bouncing out. Everything here is very much like, okay, it's got to be some uh, Muslim country thing. And there were rumors that this band originated from Iraq. Doing three albums and a few smaller releases, the band vanished quite soon into thin air. At least there are lots of rumors, uh, not based by facts, I guess, that these guys are not from Iraq. Nobody even knows if they're guys or not, but it says two-man band here. And that is what we have to take for the info mentioned here. Now, if you tune in for a Metal Archive site, you will see that there are this discography all written in more or less Arabic, except for this Don't Cry My Africa EP, which seems to be the last one. So as you can see, they were pretty, pretty goddamn active with five releases in 2020 and then three more in 2022, uh, sorry, 2021, and then calling it off. What makes this even weirder, this is a very raw and lo-fi black metal with just these two guys and like I said, everything is written in Arabic, including the lyrics and all that stuff. So can't really comment what kind of uh, thing here is happening. But already coming from the cover and everything, it seems like this is a little bit different than everything else. Now, if this band was actually from, say, Norway or uh, Sweden or Finland, places like you would end up having these kind of Aurora black metal bands, this wouldn't sound anything special. That is not a bad thing to say, really, because what is in fact happening with this album of 40 minutes and then some, it's actually very raw and kind of a primitive black metal. Those riffs are very simple and easy to get into, but the uh, production is very, very raw and kind of uh, anti-mainstream in so many ways. Definitely kind of a typical uh, underground release in that sense. Now, if you have heard, who haven't, heard those classic Dark Throne albums from the 90s or maybe Ildiarn's production, back in the days, then you pretty much know what to expect. It's raw, it's primitive, it's crude, and it's grim. But it actually works for the uh, album pretty well, and I must say I was quite enjoying this one. However, none of these riffs are exactly like out of ordinary, even in the terms of uh, raw end of black metal. So there is nothing like super wow things going on. But I like how the riffs are you know, done, how the songwriting goes, and this kind of production fits really well this kind of music. Now, if you're looking for some kind of a ideologically, you know, um, fitting band for yourself and you really need to dig into lyrics, this might not be your cup of tea. Because, of course, because it's not English and because it's everything is kind of like uh, very mystique here, uh, it it's kind of a hard to really figure out whether or not this is a kind of a band that you want to vouch for. I don't know. To me, this is um, actually quite likable, but then again, also somewhat forgettable in the terms of raw rent of black metal, because there are so many bother bands, which are, simply put, better than this one. But there's something interesting in this one. It's not so much to do with the aesthetics or the mysticism revolving, revolving around the band. For me, it's all about the riffs and the production and the raw black metal feeling, which kind of makes me tick. And Mullah has all the ingredients to that. But you decide for yourself, obviously. Check out the links provided for music and more information and dig deeper if you really need to. But expect raw and, raw and primitive black metal and you know where to go. This is Rauta. Take care and see you soon. More reviews coming away.